Hey, bro, keep. Pass me a fluid. What's up, bro? Pressure. Paul Cook, the science bro. Paul Cook, the science bro. Paul, 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 Paul. Paul Cook, the science bro. Science rules. Paul Cook, the science bro. Inertia is a property of matter. Paul, 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 Paul Cook, the science bro. Paul, 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 minus seven seconds. Paul, Paul, Paul Cook, the science bro. Hey Nick, isn't this fluid amazing? Um, I don't see any fluids. Silly Nick, you don't have to see the fluid. Can't you just feel it? Then what's a fluid? Most people think of a liquid when they hear the word fluid. However, not all fluids are liquids. In fact, a fluid is any substance that continuously flows or deforms under the application of a shear stress. This means that while it is true that liquids are fluids, gases are also fluids. So what makes a fluid, well, fluid? There are several different properties that define a fluid to make it the way it is. These properties include density, pressure, surface tension, and viscosity. The density of a fluid measures how dense the fluid is. Huh? That is, it measures fluid's mass per unit volume. Ding! Now, don't get mass confused with weight. They measure different things. In fact, there's a separate property known as specific weight. Bing. That measures the fluid's weight per unit volume. Density depends on temperature. When temperature goes up, Whoop. the density of the fluid will go down. Ooh. Another important property relating to fluids is... PRESSURE! You probably see pressure all around you in your daily routines. Like when a bro is trying to PRESSURE a girl to hook up with them. Uh, Paul? More scientifically, pressure is a measurement of a force acting on a given area perpendicular to the surface. The force could be your hand pushing the fluid in one direction, or gravity pulling down on the fluid. Take this jug of water. The jug is filled to the top of the fluid. In this case, water. And the only size are little holes that have been covered up. Observe what happens when I remove the tape. Notice how the holes on the bottom squirt water out further than the holes above it. This is because the weight of the water above the bottom hole is putting more pressure than the hole above it, and so on. In this case, pressure depends on the water's depth. The deeper the water, the higher the pressure. Have you ever wondered why drops of rain stick to the ends of leaves, or beads of water stick to your skin after you take a shower rather than immediately falling to the ground? Uh huh. These phenomena occur due to a property of fluids called surface tension. Oh. Surface tension is defined as the intensity of the molecular attraction per unit length along any line in a surface. Awesome. Like density, surface tension is temperature dependent. Oh, really? As temperature increases, Whoop. the value of the surface tension will decrease. Eww. Now, a fluid is a substance that flows or deforms when a shear strikes acts upon it, right? I think so. Well, why do some fluids then flow more easily than others? It feels much easier to run your fingers through, say, water than honey or molasses. Yet all these are fluids. A property known as viscosity measures the resistance of a fluid that is being deformed by a shear stress or describes as thickness. A fluid with a higher viscosity is thicker than a fluid with lower viscosity. Therefore, the less viscous a fluid is, the greater its ease of movement, or fluidity. Whether you see them or not, flus are around you everywhere!
They're in your sinks! They're in your rivers! They're in your classrooms! They're in your food! They're even in your bodies! Oh! Fluids are everywhere! Did you know that? The air you are breathing right now is actually a fluid. In fact, all gases have molecules spaced further apart than those of a liquid. Thus, a sheer stress can more easily deform the air than a liquid. Now you know. Today's episode was brought to you by pressure. Pressure. Moving the world forward. One drop at a time.